Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Psychid Suresh. Today we're going to be talking about needlepoint bipolar ionization, or for short, NPBI. I first came to know about this in an email to my parents from my school. It stated that my school was going to install NPBI technologies to purify the air and inactivate airborne viruses, such as SARS-CoV-2 the virus behind COVID-19. This sparked my curiosity on NPBI, and I decided to find out more. Here's what I found out. NPBI uses ions. Ions are positively or negatively charged particles. To make these, they use ion generators. To be specific, they use I-wave ion generators. For the positive ion generator, it takes away an electron from a particle. Electrons are negatively charged. A negative ion generator adds an electron to a particle. Positive and negative ions attract each other. So in this situation, first, a positive ion would attract a negative ion. But since their charges, that is how positive or how negative they are, aren't the same, they do still have a total charge. And their total charge is positive. So they attract another negative ion. So now, they have a total negative charge. Now they attract another positive ion, and this process continues on and on. And in the process, lots of particles of dust are collected by the clump of ions, and eventually the clump of ions and particles of dust is big enough to either fall to the ground due to gravity and unsuspend from the air, or get captured by a filter and have the dust particles filtered taken out of them. Now, let's explain how these inactivate viruses. Viruses have proteins on them. These are like the keys to entering cells. Once viruses enter cells, they hack into your cell's inner machinery to make the cells produce more copies of themselves, so these copies can make more copies of themselves in other cells. Once this process is started, you become infected. This will make you sick. Now, Ions can disrupt these proteins, and without these proteins, the virus can't enter your cell. So it can't infect you. It can't make you sick. So the virus is inactivated. Ions also exist in nature. Some places where they occur, especially negative ions in high concentrations, are mountaintops, waterfalls, and shores. The reason for the abundance of ions on mountaintops is due to cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are highly energetic particles from across the galaxy. They can get to mountains much easier than plains or lower areas since the mountains have a higher elevation. Once they smash into the mountain, the particle they directly smash into loses an electron and the particles nearby gain electrons. This makes ions. In a waterfall, the water splashes hard onto wet surfaces and other bodies of water creating ions. The same effect occurs on shores. Studies have proven that ions can make you feel better, specifically high concentrations of negative ions. Ions are what make outside fresh air fresh. This is how needlepoint bipolar ionization works. Bye everyone, thanks for watching. See you on another episode of Sidekid Suresh.